Yeah, I mean, um, you know, these guys, uh, these guys are resilient. Uh, said that yesterday, and and say it again. And um, it's a fighting group. And and uh, you know, Ole Miss, obviously a great baseball program and an incredible environment to come in here and to be able to do what these guys did to come out of the losers bracket, have to win, you know, what I don't know, four games in. How many hours? 30 hours? I mean, I played four games and win three of them in the last 30 hours. Pretty incredible. Uh, these guys are a hard-working group, great group, and just really proud of everything they've accomplished. Love these guys. Questions? Coach, yesterday became the first team to win 50 games in OVC history, maybe the first team in OVC history to ever make the Super Regionals. What does a run like this mean to Tennessee Tech? Oh, it's huge. Uh, what a great spot. Tennessee Tech's an incredible university, an incredible town. And, um, you know, it's, it's great for Ohio Valley Conference. I think a lot of people don't really know much about the Ohio Valley Conference. And we typically have been a one-bid league. And we get overlooked. And it's like, I'm like, this is a good league. And no one believes me, you know. And it's a really, really good competitive league. And has been the whole time I've been at Tennessee Tech. So I'm happy for the league as well as Tennessee Tech. What a great place. Nick, you yesterday you get heckled for the Um, first of all, I've never played in anything like this ever. Um, it was incredible. Um, a lot of our guys, you know, a lot of our seniors are really good about, you know, feeding off of the crowd, you know, and even if everybody's against us, you know, we've been the underdog for a while now. And uh, even if everyone's against us, you know, we find a way to just feed off of it, keep keep full, uh, fueling the fire. So let's try to work. Man, uh, honestly, uh, I just – I was looking fastball. Uh, I saw a curveball out of his hand, and it was up. And uh, I just hit it pretty well. Uh, I kind of just watched it the whole time. I couldn't run anyways. I've been playing with a kind of messed up hamstring all weekend. So, uh, but man, when I hit it, it felt really good. And luckily, it went out. So it was pretty. It's pretty amazing. And then coach, obviously, I did it for the last season this tournament. But you lead the nation in runs. Was this an upset to you? Um, you know, I. I don't, I don't ever look at it as an upset because I think these guys are, are really good baseball players, very, very talented team, and tell them all the time, if they go out and play good baseball, you know, execute pitches, uh, minimize freebies, have quality at bats, we can compete and beat anybody, and I truly believe that, and that's no disrespect to anybody at, at all that we play, but that's just how much I believe in these guys. Well, you know, it was all set. The tone was set last night. That's a great question. The tone was set last night by Alex Hersey. Uh, Hersey went out there and gave us that complete game, one run, uh, when we needed it. And he, uh, he set the tone. And then Roberts, who threw about 40 pitches on Friday, hasn't started a game since his freshman year because he's so valuable out of the pen. And we're like, we told him about an hour, two hours before the game today, hey, you're starting today, man. Go get him. And he was ready. The guy's an ultimate competitor. He went out there seven and a third, whatever it was he did. And, and then, uh, you know, uh, Mo came in and got a big out, whatever. And, and then we were able to score. Um, and then tonight, I mean, to watch Devin Lancaster go out there, um, Devin was outstanding as a freshman last year for us, outstanding. A lot of people are like, well, he doesn't throw that hard. doesn't matter. He knows how to pitch, and he'll continue to do that. But this, he has not had a great year. And so for him to go out there, he was a high school quarterback that had, like, honestly, like 75 touchdowns his senior year. The guy's a competitor. He, he, we figured he'd be really good in a big game environment, and he was. And then Moths came in again for an out or two. And then we went to Osborne, who, again, is one of the best competitors around. So it was great to see because, yes, you're right, the hitting is all that's talked about. We got some guys that can pitch and understand how to get outs. He, he just knows how to pitch. I mean, honestly, he can mix pitches. He can mix speeds. He uh, he doesn't overpower you. You know, it's funny. He can go up to 89. I think today he topped at like 84. And so, so, but that's sometimes what he does. And honestly, sometimes he's at his best when he's 84, kind of below ramming speed, so to say, and just does did a great job and really competed. When you follow the loser brackets, you've got you to have performances out of guys that haven't necessarily done. Uh, you know, hadn't had the greatest year or hadn't yeah. done that much. You had a great performance. Oh, fantastic. I mean, he was he was just dynamite. You know, Nick has electric stuff. I mean, I mean, right? I mean, he's got electric. He really does. And it's an electric fastball and uh, an electric slider. 
And so, but we've had to use him in, in a different role this year where we put him in right field, so we just haven't pitched him as much. But if you go back and look at his about his last four or five outings, ooh, like it's been re- it's been pretty good. So we had an idea, even though the numbers don't show it, the numbers are not great on the year for him. We had an idea that if we could set this thing up for Ozzy to close Osborne to close this thing, that we might be in pretty good shape. Coach, I know this game just Yeah, you know, it's funny. On the way over here, uh, we were talking about that. And Ozzy goes, hey, let's just enjoy this for about 24 hours. And I'm, I'm 100% with him. Um, I don't know that much about Texas. I know they've got a storied history with a great program and uh, obviously uh, one of the most decorated programs in all of college baseball. And so, you know, we're we're excited for the challenge. We understand it will be a challenge. But but this was as well against a great Ole Miss team. But we're excited for that opportunity. And Chase, this weekend – um, I was just seeing it really well, and um, hats off to the guys in front of me for getting on base. Um, they did a great job, and they were in scoring position. I mean, I say almost every at bat I was up there, it felt like. Um, I mean, I just saw the ball well and tried to just help out the team. So. And then, Trevor, a student at Tennessee Tech, this is the first time they've ever made it this far. What do you feel like this means for Tennessee Tech? Man, we all, from the, like, the meeting over winter break, right before we left, we were like setting goals and stuff. The very first goal was Omaha, man. We, we, I know we're a small school, middle of nowhere. Nobody believes in us to get to Omaha, but I mean, we just come out here and we're not scared of anybody. The atmosphere was crazy, man. But we love that. I mean, so so it's it's great for this program. Um, you know, nobody thought we'd be here except for us. So it's it's great. So. Sixth inning, they break through, but you bring in Moss. You're able to keep a two-run deficit. Oh, huge. And now now we go back to Friday again, and Moth, Moth threw 90 pitches on Friday. And, and you know, he's a guy that uh, we'll hear his name called in the next couple of days. And, um, you know, he came to me. He's like, Coach, I – like, like Coach, I'm not trying to – like, I'm not trying to overstep boundaries, but I'm throwing today, Coach. I want to help this team win. It's why I wanted to come back to school. I want this team to reach the goals that, we, that these guys had set. Um, certainly not that I said. It's their goals, their team. But he came out, and he's like, Coach. And so we were able to use him a couple times today in some leverage or competitive moments. And he's our guy on the bump, and him and Robbie are our guys.